We must now look for opportunities right here in our grand heads to make sure that none of us ever get dead again. Who's with me? You with me? Because if you're not, you might die. Hey guys, I'm Sven with a really awkward intro, not the greatest ever, unless of course you feel it is. And who am I to judge? I mean, God, if you feel... Oh, wait. Hang on. What's going on here? Uh... Excuse me. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, that doesn't work. Don't complain or I won't fix this bike for you. Yeah, unfortunately, I seem to have to put disc frames 1-1 one, one on or else when recording I get horrible, weird, sort of double buffer failure frames, you know, not stuttering, but like one frame... Uh... One frame popping into the next. Anyways, enough of that tech stuff. Hey guys, name's Finn. Flashing. That portrait right up there, but it's just a portrait. Also, there's- oh. There's a landmower darting bankways outside mowing the lawn. I'm trying to record a video for the internet here. Come on. I found it. How could I have been so blind? There is no plague. The reason behind the deaths is actually the practice of necromancy we started a while ago. For any dead body brought back to life, a living person dies an untimely death. In short, we brought this disaster upon ourselves by carelessly reviving our deceased. There is no point in waking up the sleepers yet. Firstly, I need to warn my departed brethren and stop them from practicing necromancy anymore. Given this discovery, I'm sure they are still suffering from the random deaths. The undead are becoming more and more aggressive. This is another phenomenon we didn't expect, but I don't have the time to investigate it. I will set out tomorrow. Ah, uh, well, that would make sense of it. Just goes to show, necromancy is stupid. Don't do it. Okay, but I see some spice. Also stupid, don't do it. It's horrible spice. I don't know, I mean spice. It could be some sort of, you know, crack-like thing, or it could be merely marijuana marijuana is a attempt at pronunciating marijuana by someone who's never spoken at all before, so, okay. I found out... stuff. I guess. And, uh, wake up the sleepers and tell them about the source of the plague. Okay. Okay, will do. This notebook contains the puzzle which is the key to the combination to my safe. I did this to make sure the contents will not fall in the hands of the undead or thieves. However, the safe mechanism is faulty and it will open if you hit the button seven repeatedly. Very blatant attempt to... Uh, allow for players who don't want to solve the puzzle to not have to, I guess. Huh? You can use this to your advantage if you find the puzzles too difficult to solve or you don't feel like solving it. Hopefully, the undead will not try doing that. <laughs> Please make sure to destroy this note after reading it. Lord Aiden Mare. Yeah, that's... Well, I'm not gonna do that, because seriously, I did... I did solve this puzzle. Back in the day. But let me just... Take another look around first. So this... <laughs> and there's the key. Okay. So this is what would normally be the, uh... Armory, I guess, hence why I call it the Farmery. Yeah, you'd go in here and you'd steal the dagger. And once you've stolen the dagger, you can stow another dagger. Dagger, 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 governor. Okay, <laughs> it's fun to say, but sure. Alright, so... But the thing is, I have not murdered all the undead. So there's some still around somewhere. That's funny. I wonder, maybe one of them's in that house that I need a small flat thing to get into. Which, what is that, by the way? I don't know. But anyways, okay, in this diary is the puzzle now. I'm going to... I'm going to make an attempt to solve it right here on camera. So first of all, let's read and see what we got. So, okay, so the first question with two as the correct answer is. So this is kind of, you have to go back and forth between the questions. So, it's going to be pretty boring if I solve it on camera, actually, I guess, but... Like, answer to question four is... Answer to question one is... Oh my god, lawnmower! Break it up, guys! Don't fight between the grass and the eater of the grass. Uh, first question with two is the correct answer. This is a weird redundant loop. Four is... Oh my god. 
no, I'm gonna have to do this by myself. I, I wanted to show the process of me thinking, but it's just not gonna happen. Actually, I don't sometimes know if these answers, like it says, question, question, goddamn lawnmower. Switch to electric, you old fashioned 19th century clinging git. Anyway, uh, the, these numbers, like there's, there's the number of the options and then there's the actual literal number that that option is. And sometimes like, the answer to question one is like, this is Q1 and Q4, but now it's asking me for literal numbers, and it's asking me, like, the answer to question four is... Um... Does it mean, like... Which option... I should give, or does it mean which literal number I should give? I think that may be what tripped me up before. So first of all, though, what we know for sure, the first question with two is the correct answer. Cannot be... Q4 because then this would be the first one with two as the correct answer unless of course it means these literal numbers so I guess we can rule that out it also can't be this either because then again this would have to be it and that's a contradiction so it's not that either now if we say that the answer is Q3 which is the first question with two is the correct answer then it could be the case because two the second answer there would be 3, which would link back to 3 there, so that could be true. Now, question 4 and question 2. So if we say that question 2 says the answer to question 4 is the fourth option, which is 0, then that can't work because this is the fourth option, so we can rule that out, I guess. Mm. Yeah, so that... So the answer to question four, if we say that it is option three, which is gonna be one, that one would be... Oh no, hang on, that's wrong. See, this is confusing with the literal numbers. The answer to question four is option three which is going to be one, which is correct because this will be the only question with the, uh, with four, number four is the correct option. So in that case, we can then say that Q5 is two because this would have two as the correct answer and also Q3 would have two as the correct answer. So if that's the case, and I'm looking at my laptop because I wrote all of this down. If that's the case, I guess the code would then be 34232. Two, two. So let me, let me just give that a try. Well, hopefully that gave you some insight into my sort of thinkity ways. <laughs> Without being too dull. And uh, let's just go... Give it a shot. I'll even not cut. Now, I do remember that I basically solved this one time, but I made a mistake. Oh, what? Oh, I must not have grabbed these. Unfortunate. Okay, well, I'll grab them now. No problem. So, what have I got here? I have got three, four, two, three. It worked! Oh my god, I did it right this time! And that's the cha- oh, that's the chamber key. And that's the- the wax. Okay. Awesome. I don't- that- that key. Oh, the sleeper chamber! Right, 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 right. I don't even remember that. Okay, awesome, I can't believe I friggin' solved that puzzle by myself. I mean, writing down a lot, sure, but still. Totally by myself. I'd completely forgotten what the solution was. And I actually got it right this time. <laughs> Amazing! Ah, oh, yes. 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 Okay. Get off of the desk laptop. Yeah! Right, but before I go into the sleepy chamber, I'm going to dunk this wax in the bucket. And there's the locket. Now, again... I need the loot, I need the necromancy, and I want to kill the undead, and I want to get into that house. What I need a small, flat thing for. 
I mean, this seems like an end game to me, but obviously not. I guess I'll give it a try. Whoa. Oh. See, I have no recollection of this. You gonna go down by yourself or what? I guess so. So I hope that I... Yeah, I guess I can get back up. Okay. No problem. I feel like this could be dangerous. I don't know. Just just a hunch. Oh, what do I need then? Hang on. Well, that's creepy. So, what... What would I want to put into these... Wait a minute. Do I need information on how the rituals perform to even do anything here? How would I, uh... How would I do that? Obviously, I'm missing something. Where would I find info on the ritual? I'm, I am definitely missing stuff. Okay, I had to look up a little hint. Apparently, there is a knife around here somewhere. Okay, normally knives are like nothing objects. Oh, also, gotcha there. Oh, there, yeah. Because, you know, he's normally junk. You don't normally think to try to frob around for them and stuff. Okay, so anyways, got the knife, though. There we go. Maybe the last zombie is in here. Who knows? He's pretty much... Gotta be, though, doesn't he? Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's, let's see what we got. The sleepers have finally gone to the deep sleep. We will not wake them until a cure for the plague is found. The key to the chamber is entrusted to the mayor, and the sacred oil to me. To wake up the sleepers, one would need to add the oil to the pedestals in the chamber and light them. We will guard the key and the sacred oil from the undead to make sure they will not accidentally wake the sleepers up. I see. Okay, I expected something bad to happen in this room, you know, it's a big open room. So... Need to steal the sacred oil. Get hold of it. Wake up the sleepers. Still need info, I still need loot. Wow. Crazy. Okay, well, we're getting somewhere though. And that is good news. Did I grab a key to this place or what? I guess not still. Hilarious. Oh well, got that, got that window. So let's go up and get caught by the last undead, maybe? I don't know. Or not. Okay, my fears are unfounded. Okay, here's close to my loot goal. It's the, kind of the mumbling time. But, uh, hey, whatevs. So it's nothing. Nothing? Really? Nothing up here but loot? Hmm. I expected something... Okay, there's supposed to be oil here. Where the hell is it? Oh. The sacred oil is entrusted. Did I did I get the sacred oil? Did I just pick it up and not notice? Nope. So So then what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, see, I remembered this. Oh, that's what I need the vine arrow for. One place only, and it is here. All right. I guess the safest place to put some oil is up top in the rafters. OPEC will never get to it. Oh! Timely or something, maybe. I also may have forgotten some of the stuff around here. Not sure. Let me see. No, I guess I didn't. Well, that's unfortunate. Anyways, yes. Up here. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, because in Thief 3 this was existent, but I think it just got you up to the top floor in a timely-ish manner as well. All right. It's time to work out, you long, thin things that could undoubtedly also be used to fling the window up. Except not, because I guess you ain't strong enough. You're delicate. That's why I shove you in a hole all the time, I guess. I don't know. Okay, there's the sacred oil. Now, I still need info on how the ritual is performed. What? What the hell? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I was moseying around this square here, and it looks like my apartment is here. See, I thought it didn't exist because I was looking around the place, but this is new. Okay. 
Awesome. Oh, it's you. I thought someone had broken in or something. Well, good evening. And so forth like that goes. So here's my apartment. Although I should probably explore elsewhere before stampeding directly into that... ...spot. Oh. Whoa. Oh shit, what? He actually comes up to? Go and be happy. Come on. Oh, and he's the last one. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Oh, man. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Alrighty, perhaps this is some info? I don't know. A strange plague has befallen us. Our people are dying prematurely without any apparent symptoms or reason. Although now we know how to bring them back to life, these animated corpses do not replace our warm and loving friends and families. But the more people we lose, the more we have to bring back to life to compensate for the labor shortage. To avoid death, some of us have decided to use our magic to go into an indefinite sleep until a cure is found. Not everyone is keen on this idea, though. Some have decided to continue as per normal. We have already started the preparations for the sleep. Meanwhile, the pharmacist will work on a cure, as we lost our last doctor a short while ago. We all hope that he succeeds before long. More new objectives? Whibbity what? Uh... What? That's not new objectives. When you're done, get back to your boat, Nick. That's not new objectives. I don't see anything new. Unless it's new and then it checked off immediately. Where the undead came from? Why they disappeared? The reason behind the plague? Was that it? Sacred oil. Find the key. Steal the climbing glue. I guess... I guess it was that. I don't know. Anyways, it's time to go into my very own apartment, which isn't really, but, you know, shh, this is an alternate history, because my O-H is the greatest A-H. Yeah, okay. Got to find my stuff here. Okay, there's my loot. I have absolutely got to find the info I need here. Oh, oh. <laughs> I love those little scenes. Okay, so... Yeah, there's gotta be info here because it's the only place I can... ...think of that remains. Whoa. Creepy. Also that, you pronounced it two different ways. You have respect for different cultures here? Unacceptable. Oh. And I don't even get to read it. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, that was short-lived, I guess. Yeah, jeez. It's because I- it's because I misconstrued. Like, I thought that the place where this door was was over there and that it had just disappeared, so I didn't think to look for it again. Oh, me. Well, anyway. Let's go back to the chamber now. Well, here we are, coming upon the very end, I suppose. What a great mission. I mean, that puzzle was hard, but you get a solution in case you don't feel like doing it, so that's cool. Let's stick the oil in here and... I don't know, actually... I mean, I've got this torch, which presumably... Presumably I'm meant to, like, light these. But how do I light the torch? Do I... Wait, I don't even have any fire arrows, so never mind... Do we just go to dump this in a fire or something? And why? Why do I have to throw? I mean, I don't think I have any other items that I can use to light stuff. I mean, here we got... Here we got this. Oh. Okay. That's... Oh. <laughs> sure. That's kind of... Weird, although I guess it makes sense because who would think to frob a fire? I don't know. There we are. Okay. Fair enough. Oops. Let's burn some oil and save the world. Whoa. Oh. 
all dead. It seems even their magical sleep couldn't save them from the plague they brought upon themselves. Huh. Dark. Okay. Well then, if that's it, I just gotta get out then. Also, how do you know they're dead? They could just be sleeping still. Seriously, Garrett, you unjudgmental prick. No, it's quite mean. Well, what a great little story, though. Dark and dark and full of magic and death. I don't know, man. Well, I've robbed them blind, and what more else can I do but to get out of here? And like I say, but I believe this is the last mission ever released by Hoplo up to now. I keep saying Haplo. Maybe I should say Hoplo. I don't know. Me and my Canadian way of speaking. I don't know. That's 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 as it is. But yeah, what a great thing, and it's it's a kindness that you can not solve the puzzle if you want to. And it may seem like a circular puzzle that cannot be solved by any sort of linear thing, but it can. And I did, and now everybody knows how to eat some cornbread, so... Yeah, that's it. I guess that's all I gotta say. So let's just walk silently back towards the end. Of course, I think we would all be happy if Haplo would make another mission at some point, but... Well, that's for the future to decide. Push. <laughs> oh, wow. Three out of eight, huh? You know what? I think I'll go back for those. I mean, I'll, I'll look them up, but uh, hey, why not show them off? A little bit, okay, so I think the first one is actually back in here. Uh, I feel bad about it, but, you know, I'm already showing stuff off. And, you know, Apollo was like, hey, you missed an Easter egg in the, uh, the to the end with nothing mission, so I might as well not miss a thing here. So apparently it's somewhere up here, perhaps. Let's see. Maybe not there. I don't know. It's funny, I... I don't... Must be must be just one of those random things, because I don't see any possibilities anywhere, to be perfectly honest. But to be imperfectly honest, maybe I do. Okay, maybe it's here then. I don't know, there are these two secret coat hangers. Oh. Alright, so that's one. Let's go find another. Another being right here, which I kind of should have probably noticed in the first place, but hey, apparently there's something more over here? Let's just find that out, shall we? Let's do it. Okay, so. Here's the sea. Oh! <laughs> On this site in 1897, nothing happened. <laughs> totally missed that. Uh. Oh, what? There's no other place quite like this place anywhere near this place, so this must be the place where absolutely nothing happened in 1897. Why 1897? <laughs> Who knows? Okay, that's awesome. Anyway. Oh, an apparent. Lee, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, that's weird. Apparently there's stuff up there. Crazy. Alrighty, so... There is something up here then. I think there was a switch up here in Bad Hangover, but... There we are. I'm still gonna be missing a bunch of loot, I think. But I think I've only got one more secret left. And it's way back over there, actually. There, you know, there. See, now I'm creeped out by going here. Like I wasn't before, but now I have to go back to the boat and this is old stuff. 
like there's nothing for me here. So I'm actually creeped out. Funny how psychologically works. Because it's dead. It's essentially everything is done here. This place is dead. Even this bucket is dead. And you know what the deadest thing of all is? These guys. I wonder... Creepy. I wonder if those other people moved away and still practice necromancy and just never figured it out. Oh. Okay. A woman in a purple dress. What have we... Is it not that one? That's a pink dress. I want purple. Okay. What, a, what am I looking for? Not, not that, evidently. What am I? What am I? One, two, three, and then one over. That's this guy. Not the woman dressed in purple. Okay, anyways. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the woman dressed in purple, though. I'm supposed to... Oh! What was that? <laughs> that's obscure as hell. I guess that's why there's secrets, though. Wouldn't want people knowing about them. All right, purple man, lady. What am I picking off you exactly? Is it a ring? It is. You can barely even see that. When it highlights, it's just a tiny sliver. All right. Well, I think that's the last secret, but still lots of loot that I missed, which is friggin' bizarre, but sure. And just for kicks, because nobody needs to know, I guess, ever, here's another way to get to the super secret hot tub from this, uh, from this steam pipey place with the AI and the thing, using old mantling and new mantling as well, but, you know, just in case you want to do it the old school earth pony way, well, this, this is how you do it. You get up here like you were going for this secret here, but then you, you get up here. It's like, what? And then you go over here, and it's like, what? And then for some reason, you can mantle up on this crazy little spikey spike thing, and then you kind of angle yourself over this way to get yourself stuck, and then you kind of unstick yourself a little bit, or not. Okay, here. Oh, I see. No, I just did that, you know? It's crazy. Mm. There you go. And then you can climb right up into the hot tub. Ploosh! Of course, there's no actual ploosh sound, but there you are. There's your Easter egg, and then you gotta get down, which I guess you do by the same way I did before, which... What even was it even? Oh, yeah. It was here. <laughs> like this. Well, that's that's fine enough. No, I'm gonna land on that lamppost. I just did it. See, I'm good at thief. Okay, and and now we end the mission. Push. All right, still missing a ton. Fairly disturbing, but at least I got all the secrets. I'll see you guys next time, and bye for now.